right, folks. Welcome back to the Grange for Big Bamboom Platoon in number 10. It's uh, me and Killas again. Killas, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we are blasting around the desert in our Cromwells. Cromwell, I say blasting, a Cromwell is a pretty darn fast tank. It has a top speed of 64 kilometers per hour. Uh, can really get you two positions ahead of the enemy, so they're driving into the, your guns, not you driving into their guns. And then uh, with all that speed, you have the option to uh, get up and bug off <laughs> if the situation gets too hot. But you can really um, drive around the battlefield and apply your weight, weight of fire where it's needed because you have so much mobility. Uh, it's not very bouncy. Has decent armor, but not very, not angled, not bouncy. Um, so pick your stand and fight battles carefully, uh, which you will see in the videos coming up here. Let's uh, let's get to that. All right, Oasis Palm map. We are going to come across and head east. Right now, while we're right now we're headed southeast. We're going to join up here with Killers, and then we're going to head east. Okay. Yep, everyone's ready to go. Ooh, watch out, their pants are four arms close, buddy. Okay, and you're going to get a really good opportunity here to see the speed of the Cromwell. Uh, we're going to pick it up here pretty quick and come charging across. We want to get over here first before the enemy does so that we can uh, give them the business. And then we'll be waiting for them. Yeah, I see Killers right behind me. Buddy heading up to the right there. Okay. So we've covered that distance in almost the same amount of time as the enemy got here. That easy eight. With 91 damage to his butt. Give one more. Back out. Reload the gun. Don't see anyone else on the map at the moment, so. Killers takes a shot. I take a shot back at Gittas. Put another one in though. Nice. Oh, you guys gonna have this guy's doomed. Another one. I take one from him too. And poof, we finish him off. Okay. Let's, uh, let's scurry up here to this opening on the left. Crusader. Oh, comes Panzer IV. Well, that guy was totally doomed. He had no hope. Oh boy. Got a. Fuster Cluck, this is. Anyway, people. Out of the way. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Yahoo! Ooh. Not sure if we actually took that one on the treads or not. There's a Cromwell down here. We are. Okay, we took a good one from him. And a little bit of air time! <laughs> Taste that one, oh boy. Okay, keep pumping into this guy. We've taken one from him. We've given him a couple. His treads are broken. Take another one from him. Put the last one in him. See you later, buddy. Out of the way. Move thine carcass. Now we've got the Wolverine. Oof. Take one from him. Off the glancing blow off the rear end. Put one in. Oop. Now he's Killers is right there with me. Good deal. Killers is just drilling this guy. Put another one in him. Yeah. And let's keep moving. When you stop moving, people get a beat on you. And uh, so if you're in a fast tank with uh, not so much bouncy armor, best to keep moving. Now then, let's come over here by the cap. What do we have in front of us? KV-1. KV-1S up in the hills. Okay, hello KV-1. You are the broadside of a barn. Can I hit you? Yeah, I'm going to set you on fire. Nice, let's give him another one. Oh, we get one more before he points his gun at us. Okay, I'm gonna let that shot go and get the heck out of there. I don't need to take a shot from him. We're down to like 25% uh, or less of our hit points. Still gonna look at give him another one. Yep. <laughs> you, sir, are a big punchy bag. What else can we do? He's gonna give us here. Oh, we take one from him, put another one in him. He's on fire again. I think Killers might have done that. And he is done. Crusader finishes him off. What do we got here? 3001 H up in front. I bet, man, that KV-1S must still be up in the hills up there. I don't recall seeing his death warrant. Oh, yeah, there's him. Ooh, can we get a shot? Oh, he's coming around. Look at us. Oh, looks like we got him right below the turret in the ring there. Probably would have bounced off the turret. That was a good shot. When I say good, I mean that uh, RNG was good for us. <laughs> Okay, 
So we've got two heavies out there and a medium. I'm kind of wondering where the medium is. I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, I guess we can't wait around here forever. We're going to have to go... Yeah, okay, let's just go up here. See if we can get some shots on this 3001H. It's facing our medium, so... Give the medium a little bit of support here. A couple of shots in him. I'm not sure who that guy thinks he's going to shoot through the wall of the building. Not too many. Another one in him. Let's get down out of the way. Before we get uh, spied by that KV-1S up there. He's probably looking at the other medium out there. 3,000 2 right? <laughs> Dicker Max takes him out. Oh, and kill us. Takes out the KV-1S in the hill. Freaking awesome. Now, we are wondering where that medium is. He is not on the mini-map. I think that uh, I'm going to sweep, sweep the corner over here on my left and then move north towards their cap. Let's make sure he's not hiding down here somewhere. Shemalar, it's not the corner, it's just the midsection. Over to the cat, to their spot point, rather, sorry. Maybe he never left. If that's the case, then we'll have to head west. So we've already been through, unless he came through the back, but I doubt it. We've got uh, friendlies behind us. Oh, there he is. There he is. Our medium's got his mitts on him now. So we're going this way, let's uh, pedal to the metal, get up there, see if we can get some shots in too. Oh, yeah, one well, medium might need some support, he's taking damage. Oh, he's also dishing damage. Dish it out. Oh, he took some more. Oh, finishes him off. Nice work, sir. Now, let's... Uh, Go back and review these statistics quickly. All right, what a battle. Let's uh, have a look at our first stat screen here. We've got a second class mastery badge, Confederate medal, sniper medal, brothers in arms, and a Nispel medal. Uh, we'll have a very quick look at those in between the battles coming up. First uh, and foremost though, 3,774 experience points. That is tripled, but still, wow. And a nice gross of 45,442 credits. Moving on to the medals, we've got the second class mastery badge, which is awarded for mastery and controlling an armored vehicle. Uh, basically, uh, you get more experience in a battle than the average highest experience of 80% of players who have fought in this vehicle for the previous seven days. And our old friend, Confederate. We get a lot of these medals. Uh, you must damage more enemy vehicles or destroy their tracks, at least four of the enemies, than any other player. The Sniper Medal is awarded when you achieve at least 85% hits out of a minimum of 10 shots fired, with potential damage of 1,000 hit points or more. The Brothers in Arms Medal is awarded when each platoon member destroys at least two enemy vehicles each. And the Nispel Medal, Class 4. For the total amount of damage caused and received, we have surpassed the 10,000 point level, and so we've uh, achieved class 4. We're working on class 3. Yeah, moving on to the team stats table here, we can see that we are number 1 for experience points gained at 839. Uh, we are number 2 for damage dealt at 1748. 2 kills, 5 awards. Uh, number 1 damage dealt goes to our VK 3002M at 1849 damage points dealt. Our credits tab here reveals that we got a 45,442 credit gross while spending 5,722 credits to repair the vehicle, 810 credits to rearm with new ammunition, and to resupply our consumables, 8,400 credits, leaving us with a nice net of 30,510 credits. And here under the XP tab, some most gratifying information. We received 3,774 experience points. Very nice. Ah, stack them up, save them for later. Here's our uh, 183 free experience. That's good. That might be one of the highest yet for us. All right, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get to the next battle. Battle number two, and we are on Black Goldville. Killers are dashing over to join up. We've only got not many people going down uh, the east side of the map at the moment. Everyone's kind of pointing. Uh, everyone's starting to take a look. 
Where should we go? Nope, they're trying to cap already. What a bunch of weirdos. Okay, let us turn around and uh, bring it back. Our KV-1 sitting there. He's looking down towards Cap. Not sure. Obviously, not spying anybody yet. Okay, we're gonna sneak down the east side. See if we can get around these guys for flanking shots. Uh, rolling and rolling. Over. Oh, Cromwell in front of us. Stop. Start shooting him. Didn't hit us that time. Doesn't look like we hit him really good either. We got us. We got one in him. Just trading shots here. Killer is taking shots on us back out of the way here a little bit. Alright, now our ass pointed towards him. Okay, now he's behind Killers. It's not such a big deal. Fire, he's dead. Thank goodness. That wasn't my best positioning, but I just kept following him with the turret. We get that over with sooner than later. Oh, 3001 H. Shot here. Yep. Nice shot too. Oh, he takes a takes a good chunk off us. And Kill is taking shots at him too. Oh, put another one into him. Oh, he takes out Killers. You bastard. You're not going to get out of this room alive. We set him on fire. He puts it out. Another good hit into him. And we take one from him too. We are uh, tit for tat here. Okay, we fire faster though. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving on. Oh, there's two mediums. What do we got here? 2002 M. Easy. Uh, yeah, we just didn't lead him good. Let's move on. We're not going to get any good shots here. We'll go. There, a T1 heavy. He's kind of. He's moving. Oh, he's been backed up trying to stay in cover. Well, then. Bam. Took the damage his track. Should have lifted that sight up a little bit. Did we get another one on him, maybe? Well, yep, we are. Boom, that's better. Much nicer hit. Okay, so he's decided, nope, he's not in a safe place. Don't blame you there. Got easy eight here. We give him one. Yeah, good one. All right, now he's just about done. Oh, T1 Heavy is done. Okay, it's five to four. Let's come around here. Oh, got not pointing at us. Takes one, we take one. One left for him. Four he fires, yes, he's done. So they got one medium left. And that would be that 3002M. <laughs> he is just over the ridge line. I think I see an opportunity for some fun here. <laughs> here it comes, buddy. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Darn it. Oh, well. That was fun. And uh, just about finished him. But I guess he had a few more hit points than us. Our KB1 takes him down. Let's go see those stats. Alright, pretty good battle. Again, we got a second class mastery badge, but this time we've also got the Avenger medal uh, because we took out that 3001H who uh, took out Killis. Now, also, here, another good XP round. 3,753 XP. Wow. 41,070 gross credits. Let's go have a look at those medals. Now, we already saw a second class mastery badge in the previous battle, so we'll just move right on here to Avenger. Now, the Avenger battle is awarded when you eliminate the enemy who destroyed a member of your platoon. Our team stats table here, we are firmly in first place in both damage dealt and experience points gained. We have dealt 1,855 damage points uh, with three kills, 834 basic XP, and two awards. Uh, although we did not survive the battle due to our uh, reckless smash-up derby technique, uh, Killers was taken out reasonably early by the 3001H, too bad. He still got 365 damage points and 332 XP. On the other team, there were two standouts. We have the uh, EZ-8, 1,744 damage dealt, and the 3002M, the guy we rammed at the end, had 1,622 damage dealt. Moving on to the uh, statistics tab, we see here that we fired 17 shots, 14 direct hits, all 14 penetrated. Uh, now in this battle we have the top gun for the Cromwell, which we did not have in the first battle. Um, and it's a good gun. It, it does well. It gives this thing a little bit more bite. So if you're going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe, 
you can make those guys feel a little more intimidated with this gun rather than the other gun. Uh, we caused 1,855 points of damage. Spotted two enemies. Again, we received five hits. All five penetrated. Not very bouncy. Pick your battles. Yeah, opening up the envelope with our paycheck in it, we see that we grossed 41,070 credits. To repair the vehicle, we spent 6,375. That's what those five hits cost us. Uh, we resupplied our ammunition for 1,700 credits. And our consumables, we resupplied for 8,400 credits, leaving us with a nice, nice net 24,595 credits. And our last screen here is the XP screen. We received 3,753 experience points and our favorites stack them up for later free XP's of 183. Well, that is the end of Big Man Boom Platoon number 10 and uh, the end of our little video on the Cromwell. Um, thank you to Killis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for joining me on these battles. They were quite successful. Uh, even if uh, we both died in the second one. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Cromwell. Like I was saying, good gun. Especially this upgraded gun, good gun. Very speedy. Um, you can do a lot with this tank because of its awesome mobility. Uh, the armor, not so bouncy. So, pick your battles carefully if you're going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, like I said, with that newer gun, you, um, you've you got a better chance of intimidating these guys or actually finishing them off quicker. Uh, yeah, I guess that's probably about it. Well, I just love this tank. It's really fun to drive. Very worthwhile upgrading all the way. It's very enjoyable. Boy, I don't know. I just can't get enough of it. Uh, yeah. If you like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up underneath. That would be awesome. And if you really like these videos, why not subscribe? You'll get a notice every time we put a new one up. That way you don't miss out on the new content. Alright, folks. Thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I'll catch you next time.